Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to learn how to find the area of these shapes. Today we are going to be using pattern blocks to find the area. We're going to start off by using just one pattern block for each one of these. The small one can fit a triangle. See this one? can be completely covered by a rhombus. And this one here can be covered by a trapezoid. We're gonna try this again, but we are only going to use triangles. And we're gonna consider one triangle, one unit of measurement or one unit of area. So on our first one, we can cover that with one unit. But this next one here, let's see, can we cover it with just one? No. What about two? Yes. I'm gonna use my marker in here where it says area equals, I'm gonna write down two units. Two units. All right, well, what about this one here? I can try covering it with one, two, three. Three triangles or three units are the area. So I'm gonna write down three units. Cover the whole area. Well, let's try some bigger shapes. How many triangles do you think it will take to cover the whole area of this hexagon? I want you to try this at home as well if you have some pattern blocks. If I have half of it covered with three, how many more am I going to need? Yes, if it took three to cover half, I'm gonna need three more. Now I have used six. So the area for the hexagon would be six units. Well, let's try another shape. Hmm, do you want to, do you want to take a guess? How many triangles do you think it would take? I want you to try it. I have this kind of this corner done with three, but I'm still gonna need quite a few more. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, this is more than I thought. Nine, 10. How many more do you think I'll need? I have 10, let's try 11 and 12. The area of this parallelogram was 12. I'm gonna write down 12 units. I'm using the word units because it's not 12 inches or 12 feet, because we're not just measuring the length or the height of something but actually measuring the whole area. All right, I have another one here. Do you wanna guess? How many do you think? And I have three and three more, that's six. And now I have seven, eight. And does that look like half? If I covered this half with eight, how many am I gonna need for the other side? Seven and eight, so it was eight plus eight. How many is that? 16. So I'm going to write down 16 units. 16 units. All right, class, I have one more shape here to cover and we're gonna cover the area. I want you to guess of how many I'm gonna need. I've got three there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It took fourteen triangles or fourteen units to cover the whole area. I'm going to write down fourteen units. I think that you should have some fun today covering some shapes with one type of pattern block. You can see how many units or shapes it needs to fill in the whole area. I hope that you have a wonderful time playing with math today. Bye-bye!